Welcome, what is up? Thank you for tuning back into the Chaos Lair. Of course, I am Chris Chaos here with the 411 for the Royal Rumble. Now, as I look at my phone, I see that uh, a lot of people, they're talking. Uh, and a lot of it is Ronda Rousey related, and I'm going to get to that. The Royal Rumble, as a whole, it was a pretty good pay-per-view. About a 7. I give it a 7. Maybe an 8. The tag ta Both tag matches were good. The WWE title just kind of was what it was. The The Universal title was bad. Uh, the Both Royal Rumbles were, were good. The men's was way better. Of course it was going to be. Uh, the women should have really practiced this. Uh, you can't just, in this type of match, you can't just go out and just have the match without, like, the men can do this because they're way more athletic and agile and, you know, but the women can't because, you know, like a lot of them, the, the rope is like right here on them or right here. You know, you really have to jump to get, and it, it just, it looked bad. It really looked bad. It could have looked a lot better and it just was bad that it didn't. There are ways to hide things that they didn't hide. Uh, Nakamura wins. Fantastic. That's the that's what we all wanted to see. We all, as fans, we wanted to see. Now, personally, I wanted Bray Wyatt to win. Or uh, Finn Balor. You don't always get what you want. But Nakamura is still a really good option for me, so I'm cool with that. And that's, we all kind of thought that that's where they were going to go. Rumors, whatever. So, fine. Uh, I thought the two tag team uh, title matches were backwards. I thought we should have had new champions on SmackDown and not Raw. With that being said, because now all these tag teams have like multiple title reigns. I just don't like it. Uh, plus, I like the dynamic between Seth and jo uh, Jason Jordan that they could have really worked uh, into something. But regardless, uh, the women's Royal Rumble. So, WWE, let me get this straight. You hold a tournament called the Mae Young Classic. You bring in 32, and, and for the most part, like 29 of them anyway, are like really good women's wrestlers. And you don't bring any of them up. You bring one up from NXT, who is the NXT Women's Champion, who has already been spotlighted this weekend. In a huge match. No Peyton, no Billy, no Dakota Kai, no Lacey Evans, uh, no Candice LeRae, who I was, I, I just knew Candice was going to be in this. No. You bring back Lita, okay. You bring back Trish, fine. You bring back Beth Phoenix, I'm all in. Jacqueline. Way past her prime. Molly Holly, okay. Tori Wilson. Kelly Kelly. Vicky Guerrero. Really? I mean, really. Come on. Vicky doesn't know how to wrestle anyway. I don't know why. I, I'm not going to shoot on that. Kelly Kelly and Tori Wilson, they couldn't wrestle before anyway. So why the hell would you bring them back now? You gave them the spots of some of your NXT talent that really deserve to shine. By the way, Carrie Sane, I loved her being in it too. So we had two NXT talents. I, I correct myself. It's horrible. It's bad. Oscar winning, it's about what we thought. But then you have Ronda Rousey come out. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. If you were going to have her come out, why the hell didn't you just have her win? Oh, she's filming a movie. And, you know, she really is filming a movie. But, what is stopping them from making her come in last second and get a win? They could book it that way. I'm glad they didn't. 
Because now she doesn't have a title match. She just wants one. Well, get in line. Look, my thing about Ronda is this. In MMA, I hated her. I hated the way she did things. I hated the way she cried and bitched when she got beat. Uh, that's fine. This is a whole new world. Let's start over. I want Ronda Rousey to be a fantastic women's wrestler. I really do. From the bottom of my heart, I really do. Because I want everybody to be good. Especially somebody that they're going to put the rocket on and shoot straight to the top. I want them to be good. You have time to make her good. Make her good. The problem is, she has done absolutely nothing. This is the first time she's really been on WWE TV. Well, the first time she's been on WWE TV as, you know, like, mean, meaning anything. Like, she was on for the Mayan Classic, but, you know, regardless. Like, let's... Have her earn her stripes. She can't earn her stripes in two months. Two and a half months ish. This is going to drive me crazy to WrestleMania because I know that she's going to get a title match. She doesn't need to. To me, you know, at this point, they might as well just do the four horsewomen versus the four horsewomen. I mean, might as well. I don't know where they go from here. I don't know where I'd go from here. I'm glad she didn't win, though. I'm glad they, what, they didn't put her in and have her won because that, that absolutely pisses on everybody that's on the roster. Because it's like, oh, well, you know, we had to do what's best for business, and, and what's best for business is to have the legitimate fighter win and the one that brings the most rec recognition and everything. No. You put Asuka over. That is the right call. They made the right call. As far as what what they're going to do with Ronda Rousey, only time will tell. But I'll be here to either, well, probably to bitch and moan about it and shoot all over everybody. I just want somebody to tell me why that made sense. Really explain it to me. Like I'm dumb. We all know I'm not. Try me. Just go ahead and try me. Let's see where we go from here. Cass out.